everyone, it's Chelsea from Painted Layers. In today's video, we're going to learn how to make this awesome wire headband. For this project, you're going to need an iron, cutting tools, disappearing pen, liquid stitch, 20 gauge wire, wire cutters and pliers, and cotton fabric. So the first thing I did was iron my fabric. This is a piece of vintage thrifted fabric that I think is going to make a really pretty headband for fall. You want to start by cutting out a rectangle that is going to be 9 inches wide and 36 inches long. To make this easier to cut on my mat, I folded my fabric in half first, divided those dimensions in half, and then cut out my rectangle. The next step is to iron the fabric in half and we want to fold it with right sides together. First we want to make a straight stitch all the way across on the side where you have a fold. Well, now that you have that seam closed, what you're going to do is take your marking pen and your ruler and you're going to mark seven inches on both sides. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're gonna do a really small cut where that mark is on both sides. And if you're worried about the fabric fraying here, you can just grab a little bit of fray check and just put a little bit of that along the cut to keep it from fraying. Now we're gonna take the wire, and this is a 20 gauge wire. Use your wire cutters to cut your wire approximately 40 inches long. And then we're gonna take the wire and we're gonna thread it through that pocket that we made. We're gonna thread it through that little hole. Then come out the other side. What we wanna do is twist. We wanna make a loop and twist this wire around it. It's twisting easily with, the, with my hands, but when you get to the end, you just wanna use a little set of wire pliers and then you want to do that same thing on the other side and then you have your two pieces of wire inside the little pocket that you made. Now we're going to close up this edge and if you want more of a bow tie look you can just go straight along the edge leaving a fourth inch seam allowance. Or if you want more of a bunny ear look, you can sew at an angle here. Just remember to leave that gap so that you can turn your work. Okay, so I sewed that line closed. Now I'm going to take my shears and just cut along this edge. Now I'm gonna go back and find the gap that I left. and I'm carefully going to turn my work inside out so we can start pushing the fabric and kind of pushing, kind of using the wire also to go back towards that opening. Okay, so let's do that on the other side. To turn it inside out, we're going to start by pushing the fabric inside out and then grab the loop and kind of push that. And you can actually use the wire to kind of push the fabric inside out. And then grab it and just kind of pull. Now what we can do is we can iron it flat. 
then to close up this gap here, you can use your sewing machine to stitch this close. What I like to do is I'll take some liquid stitch and I'll just put it lightly on that little gap there. And then I just close it and let it dry. And now your headband is done. Let's see how it turned out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you get a chance to make your very own headband. It's a really cute style. It's so easy to use and wear and looks good with a lot of fall fashions coming up. If you like sewing and you want to learn how to make more projects to create your own wardrobe out of thrifted materials, please subscribe to this channel and follow me on my Instagram at Painted Layers Studio.